do have to press a button, Tasha Gober. Uh, I welcome this legislation, and from listening to the debate in the House over this last hour or so, I, I sense a real consensus among all of us that we want to move forward together. And I think that in particular shows uh, the skill of the Minister and her department in listening to all sides of the House and to the public generally, and in cooperating with members and listening to views from different parties and no parties at all to get the best step for us all to go forward. And I think this legislation is a credit to the Minister and to her department because it is proportionate, it is timely, and it is needed now. And I think the point about the Gardaí, which I think, uh, and I think we all have a consensus on this, uh, that, that, they, uh, that they engage first, they educate, they encourage, and the last step of all is to enforce. And all of us are of the view, and it's universally here, that it's a very, very small number of, of publicans uh, that will actually be in that position. And the proportionate response from the Minister is that the, with the Garda Superintendent, it's one day. After that, you must make applications to the courts. And notwithstanding the fact that the application goes to the courts, our courts are, are held in public. So the fact that if you don't follow through, and it's in the extreme case, that the Garda feel they have to close you down and you haven't acted after that in an appropriate way, that the publicity which would ensure, ensure, ensure sorry, for any such publican uh, would, be, would be salutary in the extreme. So I welcome that. I welcome the move also which is concurrent with this bill that our schools are open. I welcome the fact lots and lots of more people are returning to work. I welcome the fact a lot more of us are, are working from our homes rather than in our offices. So there's huge changes in our society as a result of COVID. But we must never forget that the victims of COVID, the 1,778 who have died in our country, that of, of those who died, 92% were over 65, and most of those had significant underlying conditions. So I think the government has always acted uh, by listening to the medical advice, by listening to the public health advice, by listening to NEFED, and by being aware that if we don't listen to the public health advice and if we ignore it, then we are facing uh, perhaps the Holocaust indeed. And internationally, 26 million cases have been diagnosed of COVID. There have been over 864,000 deaths, and at the same time, over 18 million people have recovered. So it's a huge world problem. And as we wait for the vaccine that is to come, hopefully very soon, we have to act and this action, this legislation, is very helpful in that regard. I know we've short time, let's go here, look. I just want to make the point that what happened in County Loud, what happened in Dalgan Nursing Home, was an appalling vista where 23 people died, when most of the staff, unfortunately, were absent and weren't present. People were not looked after, they weren't fed, they weren't clothed, they, they weren't changed. And they more would have died, would not have for the prompt action of the HSC in going in there. And when I reflect on what happened in Kilbrew Nursing Home in County Mead, when I reflect on that poor unfortunate man and his son who died in the most appalling and shameful circumstances, that is why we have to listen to public health advice. That is why we have to make uh, our, 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 our legal powers greater to enforce proper and higher standards in nursing home. And that is why HICWA must be giving more powers as well. But in relation to this legislation and this minister, this is an excellent job and it's well done. Uh,